Yeah, I'm struggling. It's like timed and everything is hard. Now I got cayenne on my hand. <laughs> Even though I'm 14, I have been cooking since I was five, but I've really been taking it seriously since I was 11. I have a little cooking experience. I can cook a decent meal. I cook at home three to four times a week, so I got that experience. Homemade hollandaise sauce, prosciutto, arugula, eggs benedict. Chef Clark is the best chef in the world, baby. I've never faced off against an adult. Well, it's nice that he thinks I'm an adult. How old do you think I am? I'm gonna go over 35. What? Oh no, man! I'm 27, dude! Oh. I don't look that beat up, do I? So the time limit is 30 minutes. Definitely enough time to uh, take down a little kid's ego. <laughs> it's been a while since I had a time competition, but I'm feeling confident. I feel like I can beat him. Are right, you gonna get your butt beat? Yep. Let's All go, right. dude. Good luck. Yeah. Owen, good luck, buddy, because you're gonna need it. So, I guess I'll take this cream. I can do some kind of sauce with that. I need this parsley. I feel like I really have to use my creativity here to like pull something together, you know, sort through this fridge and find what I want to use. Yeah, I think this is it. I got the chicken for my protein. I might take the skin and make like skin crisps, wilt this spinach, glaze it with some of the chicken stock and make tomato concasse with this. Okay, this is a lot more stocked than I thought. I'm seeing these beautiful peppers pop out of me. I'm seeing jalapenos. I'm seeing chicken. I'm from Texas, love Tex-Mex. Already my mind's going. We could do like a deconstructed chicken fajita. Sounds fancy if you say things are deconstructed, right? I think I'm gonna destroy the competition. Everyone's gonna love my tacos. They're gonna be taco about it, taco wing about it all day. I don't really know how much cooking experience Clark has. He might have not a lot, but still be really amazing at cooking. I feel like I could finish early. Oh, Mr. Confident over here, eh? The tortoise wins the race. I'm gonna win is what I'm trying to say. Three, two, one, go. Where's just olive oil, dude? Sesame oil. If you wanna do high heat cooking, I'd use this one. What, you're not supposed to help me, but thanks. I'm supposed to be like clobbering you right now and you're helping me out. I'm Gonna get a nice little coating of uh, taco seasoning on my chickens. Thought you were making your own taco seasoning. Yeah, but then I saw this. Hey, if you, if you got a pre-mix, why not? Is it working? So I just started cooking and I realized I didn't know how this stuff worked. And now I'm stressed and I'm like, oh crap. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. What does five, six, seven mean? That's the heat. <laughs> like, is it like the level? Yeah. Cool, great. Why are you helping me again? Clark doesn't know how to use induction cooktop. I feel like it could be an advantage for me. If he doesn't know how to turn on his stove, he can't cook anything. Can't forget my favorite ingredient, the cayenne. I'm watching Clark cook, and then he takes cayenne. I don't, I don't know if he knows how spicy cayenne is or not, but he just takes it and turns it upside down. Yeah, crap. All right, so I like my stuff spicy, so we're gonna get a nice bit of cayenne on there. A lot comes out and he's just like, oh yeah, it's fine, I like spicy food. No, that's just like blow your head off. I'm trying something new. Usually Verblanc's made with white wine. I'm making it with beer, and I have no clue how this is gonna turn out. Did you just say beer? Yeah. Are you even old enough to buy beer? No. Nope. What? This is not legal. Do you have some for me? It's over there. Just gonna get a nice little coating on the skin, get it nice and crispy. I cut myself, that was a minor setback. Are you okay, man? Yeah, I'm fine. Is it a bad cut? No, it's like, it's just that. Oh, okay. Like, so since I cut my finger, I had to use a glove. It was a tiny setback in time. So the version of this dish that I'm making is actually my parents' recipe. They call it Mexican stack. And it's a super easy dish. I mean, it's just rice, protein, and then whatever toppings you want. I mean, there's only so much you can do with like a chicken fajita. I could go crazy and like crumple up like Doritos on there. I know we get Doritos. George, do we have any Doritos? No! We're out of Doritos. So now I'm gonna keep it just plain and simple Mexican stack. Knife skills are questionable. Look at these sad old jalapenos from the BuzzFeed refrigerator. They've been sitting in a hot tub for like three years and just pruned all up. Ooh, this is a fun game. Let's see old bands I love that you may not know. Do you know Blink-182? Nope. Taking Back Sunday? Mm -mm. No? No. Nope. 30 Seconds to Mars? No. Backstreet Boys? They're the ones that always wear the white suits, right? Yeah. Our music tastes are really different. You know, I don't know any of the bands he's talking about. They're all from like 20 years ago or something. Just cook. Tell me some bands and I'll see if I know them. Or do you know who Lil Pump is? Lil Pump? Yeah. He listens to music called Lil Pump. I got this kid beat. Peppers, onions, taco seasoning. 
Everything is coming along nicely. There's some pops of color. My face is on fire because I touched it with cayenne, but life is good. Oh man, I made it too spicy. <laughs> There's one thing you could do. Oh, and it's like, well, if you know it's spicy, you can add tomato puree to it. And I'm like, dude, why are you helping me? Eric, you're telling me this is too spicy. It's good. No, <laughs> no, man. There's five minutes left. You know, I have everything together. My chicken's resting. My sauce is done. All I have to do now is plate, and you know, I have plenty of time too, so I'm not flustered at all. Are you struggling over there? I just tasted my pico de gallo, and it is great. No struggles over here. Do you have anything uh, finished that you can taste yet? I don't even know what you're cooking. It doesn't look good. What are you doing over here? Plating. Oh, we got two minutes? Oh, crap! Uh, that's too much. Ooh, it's okay, it's good. Is it cooked well? You want, you want some? Yeah, thanks. It was good. It, it's spicy, but like, it's not a blow your head off spicy. It's not too bad, yeah. Take a look at that, baby. Look at my foods. Well, it didn't taste like it was cooked by a 14-year-old boy. Like It tasted like a Top Chef Junior winner cooked it. Where'd you learn to cook? The Not Culinary Institute of Artists. Mine is the stuff you get at like a mom and pop Mexican restaurant. Like yours is like the fancy Italian restaurant you go to. I would have liked that. Oh, and you got a nice flowers. like crisp skin. I think mine's better. So the chicken is actually like perfectly cooked, but it's very, very aggressively seasoned. It kind of hurts my mouth and my back and the throat a little bit. I think the ingredients go together really well, and I can get like just a hint of flavor in each ingredient here. Chicken is not dry. It's pretty spicy though. So the chicken is also perfectly cooked on this one. I really like the sauce here too. Very rich. Chicken is cooked really well. Just enough seasoning. My favorite dish. My favorite out of the two. My favorite out of the two dishes. Is number two. Dish two. Number two. And it's because of the sauce. It's super bright and it's super nice and it makes the whole thing taste so much better. So I think the flavors go really well together. I really, really like the texture of the crispy skin. Everything like worked really well together. No ingredient was overpowering the other. It was very rich. I want more. The winner of this amateur versus pro goes to... What? No! This is a mutiny! You know, it feels good to be an adult. It feels good to be somebody who's 13 years older than you. <laughs> good, good job, dude. Oh, thank you. What, you. what are you gonna do with your trophy? Put it up on something in my room. There we go. Not even a yeah. grateful winner. <laughs> this is rigged. <laughs>